Welcome back to another video! My name is Priscilla and I upload makeup related content on my channel. If you are new, welcome! I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back! In today's video, I'm going to be going over the makeup products that I was not sure if I wanted to keep or toss. And if you're wondering what I'm referring to, I'm referring to my declutter series or my declutter videos. So I'll link those down below in case you're interested. So I did set aside some makeup that I wanted to go ahead and just try out for the last time to see yes or no. Am I going to keep it? Do I remember how it works? Do I like how it works, etc. So I have them here. I'm going to go over them with you guys to let you know what I decided to keep and what I decided to toss. And I did apply some of these as well. So a lot of it is on my face right now. And I'll show you little clips so that you guys can see me applying them as well. So if you're ready, let's jump into the video. I am going to go ahead and go through the products in the order that I applied them. So we're first going to start off with primer, which is this one here. It's the Beauty Bakery, the Butter Hydra Silk Primer. Mm, to the touch, it feels... I don't know, if just, it just feels like oily, like greasy. And then it it kind of feels like it goes into sort of like a soft feel. But I don't know, I just don't really care for it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because I know I'm just not going to reach for it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Next, I do have a foundation, which is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluron, Hyal Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. Um, I actually do like this. At first, I didn't like it because when I first bought it, I was on the oily side. Um, but I'm not anymore. And now it works for my skin. So I actually do enjoy this foundation. I did get a shade too dark for me. But I do use the white pigment from LA Girls to help lighten it up. So I'm keeping this one. Next, I do have two concealers. One I didn't apply, but I'll show you. So the first one is a Be Pure Hydrating Under Eye Concealer. I actually do like this. When I first applied it, I did not like it. I used it several times since, and I actually do quite enjoy this. I don't know. It says benefits of an eye cream and concealer all in one. And it just says hydrating under eye concealer, but... Oh, with hyaluronic acid. Uh, yeah, I mean, is it like the best coverage? No, it's not. But honestly, I mean, it does fine for me. And I'm able to set it and it doesn't... I want to show you guys. Can you guys see? I've applied... What time is it? It's 4... What? 4.49 and I applied my makeup around 12. So it's been almost five hours because I stopped to eat and I had other things that I had to do in between when I finished my makeup and now to sit down and film. So as you can see, I've had it on. I've had this makeup on for almost five hours and yeah. So loving this concealer, definitely keeping it. The next thing I have here is the Essence My Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder. This is this Instant Blur Effect Natural Matte Finish. I have my shade in 20 Nude. I am keeping this one. I felt like it was a tad deep for me. I probably should have gone with probably 10. Essence doesn't have the best shade ranges. If I would have just went with the shade lighter, it would have been good. But I do like this whenever I feel I need to deepen up my skin tone just a bit because maybe the foundation was a tad too light for me then I can use this and it works really well too I have that I actually did use it to retouch up my t-zone because I was a little shiny there and yeah it works really good so keeping this I did not show you the other concealer I forgot the other one is the bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer I have the small one here I don't like this concealer. It is too thick of a concealer for me and it creases 
ridiculously, but probably because it's really thick. Yeah, it says it's waterproof and all that. I'm glad I got the mini size one, and if I could have returned it, I would have returned even the mini size one. I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it. The next thing I have is the e.l.f. I think it's like a e.l.f. setting powder. I know it's not a bronzer. I believe it's just the pressed setting powder. I don't know the name. It just says medium dark. The reason why I got this shade here was to try to use as a bronzer. And I did get this one at a Dollar Tree. It does okay as a bronzer. It's just like a a good few shades deeper than me to give me like a natural bronze effect. But I honestly don't reach for it and I have quite a few other bronzers and I just bought more bronzers. So I'm going to go ahead and, and declutter this one. I do have three blush. Oh my. Oh goodness. I do have three blushes that I was working with to see if I wanted to keep them or not. Two of them are from Be Pure. They're the Essentially Ageless Luminizing Blush infused with Camellia Oil. The only thing is when it comes to Be Pure, no shades are on the packaging. Only on the initial packaging like this, for example, that's where the shade is at. But once it comes to the actual packaging of the product, no shades. Sometimes it's nice to just remember and it's nice to let you guys know so that you guys are aware which were which one we're using. These are the two that I have. I applied this one today and I swatched this one for you guys so I'll show you guys that. I am going to go ahead and keep both of them. This is a natural kind of a blush and I actually do like that one. I just want like a natural soft look. This is a nice blush. So for the Be Pure ones, I am going to go ahead and keep them. I'm actually keeping all the blushes. I want to go ahead and keep playing with them. I feel like they may wear out. They may wear off a bit, the color itself. Because earlier I'm trying to think how bright it was. I can't remember. I don't remember. But right after I finished applying them, I'm like, yes, I'm keeping them. And then since time has passed, I'm looking. And I'm, it feels like some of the color has faded, but I'm going to go ahead and keep them. I'm keeping these two. So I did wear this one here. And the I have the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighten. And I have in Tropic Hues. This one here, I did go over the other blush with this one so I did put this one on top and I like the luminous effect that it gives you so you don't need a highlighter with this one personally if you just want like a a one and done kind of thing just grab this one you don't need to put highlight of course I have a highlighter so I did but I am going to go ahead and keep this one as well speaking of highlighters I have the wet and wild to reflect shimmer palette and I have the shade I'll have a Cosmo and it just looks like this it it is so huge like look at this thing this is so huge I don't believe they make this anymore I feel like they don't I haven't seen this one in stores maybe on the website I, I'm not sure honestly but I am going to go ahead and keep it. It is, that's the highlighter that you are seeing right now. And I quite like it. If you go in a bit softer, because it does have a bit of like a pinky hue, it would be like a nice, really, really soft blush topper if you do it very softly. But I like it as a highlight, like boom. I was on a zoom call and I could see my highlight like boom <laughs> on the screen. So yeah, I'm keeping this one. Two highlighters that I did not apply were the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wands. And I have Rose Quartz and Champagne. And that is them. I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. I just, I don't like them. I don't like how they just emphasize texture right there it just looks not good and I have the LA girl one I feel like it's similar to this and the one that I actually do like as a high liquid highlighter too is the wet and wild like let me show you guys 
the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Glow in Love Radiance Liquid. They only have this shade here, but I actually do like it as a liquid highlighter. And there's a lot of product in here, so it's going to take me quite some time to get through it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. Lastly, I do have two lip products. One of them products. One of them is the Ayani Shea Butter Lipstick in Nude Gold. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one because I know I am not going to reach for it. I just know. It's not that it's the formula itself because I do have another one of these. It came out in one of their other collections and it's like a nudie brown shade. I actually do like that one as a cut, like a chapstick with a tint of color to it and it is in my purse right now or my backpack right now so I, I it's not the formula it's just the shade itself so that may be like a topper but I just know I'm not gonna reach for it so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter declutter this one and then lastly the essence stay eight hour matte liquid lipstick I have mine in bite me if you can and it was when COVID came out because you know it's what does it say? Mask proof. <laughs> this one I was kind of torn between keeping it or not keeping it because it does dry down to that powdery feeling. It doesn't budge, let me tell you. It does not budge. Um, and the color itself is a really nice color. So I am going to go ahead and keep it. I was going to declutter it because of how it dries down. Obviously it's a liquid matte lipstick. And typically some of those just dry down very, you know, they just into that powdery feeling. So if you like that, you're, if you're okay with that, I mean, this does not budge, right? But I kind of don't like that. However, it doesn't feel too bad and the color is nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. I do like this color a lot. So there you guys have the products. So, oh, Actually, no, no, no. <laughs> eyeshadows, yes. And I do have that. I have five eyeshadow palettes that I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep or declutter. I did actually use all five of these eyeshadow palettes on the eye look that I am wearing right now. I tried to grab at least one shadow from each palette to try to use them all. And I did do all of that. So let's go ahead and start off with the Laura Geller A Wildflower Wishes. So it has 14 shadows. It looks like this. This is like a nice everyday eyeshadow palette. When I, I went in with this shade here, that was the only shade that I went in in this palette. And if I recall correctly, when I first used it, it wasn't pigmented. At least it didn't feel pigmented, but when I put this one on, it was nicely pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one, continue using it. The next one here is the ColourPop and Lizzie McGuire, What Dreams Are Made Of. I did go in to this shade here and this shade here. Both shades are nicely pigmented. There's nothing wrong with the shades, like the formula itself is just that it's a very colorful palette and it's a complementary palette to another palette. Like I won't be able to just use this personally. There's other people who can actually create a look just with the palette itself. Maybe this row here I can. Uh, maybe this row here, but uh, maybe. I just need like something deeper than this personally. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. So maybe grab my singles. That might work. I just kind of depart from it right now, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. And I do like the shimmer shade that I'm wearing right now. The next palette I have is the ColourPop Twist of Slate eyeshadow palette. I did get this in one of their mystery boxes because um, I wouldn't pick this out for myself. It is quite cool tone and I love warmer tone eyeshadows as you guys We'll start to learn because I will say that a lot. <laughs> um, so I did go in to this shade here. Oh man, I don't remember. I feel like I went into this one. I honestly don't remember. I know my memory is still being worked on right now. It's still kind of regulating itself. My brain. 
Um, but I know I went in with this one to line my, to do my uh, eyeliner, my shadow liner. Ah, that's what I should call it, my shadow liner. Yeah. So I went in to line my eyes with this one. And then, I feel like this is the one that I used in my inner corner. If I didn't, you'll see the one that I did use. I am going to keep it. I am. Because when you need a cool tone palette, and this one I just have to use one and I'll be good. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I have the C, I, I want to say it's called C color, but I'm not too sure. Unisex one. I know that this brand, this company is no longer in business. So you're not going to be able to find them anymore. I did purchase this one at Dollar Tree. Since they did go out of business, it did end up at Dollar Tree. And that's why I picked it up. Because for $1.25, lick it. What? That's a lot of eyeshadow, first of all, for $1.25. And they are actually nicely pigmented. It was last year. I don't think that you'll find them. I found it like towards around this time last year. So I don't think you'll be seeing these anymore there. I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> and just let it see if it, if it stays for the next declutter. So... I guess I'm keeping all of them. Which brings me to the last eyeshadow palette. And it is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. It looks like this here. I did go in with this eyeshadow for this look. And I was almost going to declutter it. But I cannot declutter this eyeshadow palette until I have used these two eyeshadows. I just cannot. I don't know, I just, I've swatched them so many times thinking, okay, I'm going to use them and I don't use them, but I just love swatching them. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it as well. So there you guys have my thoughts on the makeup that I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep or declutter. As you can see, I kept a lot of it overall and just decluttered just a few things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. I'll see you all on the next video. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye.